While the world condemned Nazi doctors, American researchers were doing the same in Guatemala. Between 1946 and 1948, U.S. Public Health Service scientists infected over a thousand Guatemalans with syphilis, gonorrhea, and chancroid. No one gave consent. The victims were prisoners locked in cells, soldiers lined up for treatment, psychiatric patients restrained in hospital beds, and even children from state schools. When sexual transmission wasn't fast enough, researchers scraped skin open and poured bacteria into raw flesh, while others were injected directly into the spine. One woman known only as Berta was first injected with syphilis then later reinfected with gonorrheal pus in her eyes and genitals and was left bleeding until death. The project was led by Dr. John Charles Cutler. He knew that laws in the U.S. made such experiments impossible, so they moved them to Guatemala, where human lives were easier to use. Every infection was recorded, but the data was never published and at least 83 people died. For 60 years, it stayed hidden until historian Susan Reverby uncovered Cutler's archived papers. The U.S. apologized in 2010, but no one was ever punished.